Draped in the American flag are soldiers that have paid the ultimate sacrifice, but they lost more than their life fighting for our country during World War II. They lost their identity, going simply by the title unknown until now. It's disinterred 388 sets of remains from the USS Oklahoma, uh, and that has been very good, successful work because they have identified already uh, over 40 and uh, that has helped to bring closure to those families. Closure for people like Linda Reed, whose life and family history completely altered due to the unknown identification process. My uncle, um, Edgar Reed, went down in a submarine in World War II. Because of that, his little brother forged his mother's signature and joined the Marine Corps at 16. In light of the 75th anniversary of Pearl Harbor, members of the armed forces have been busy to identify hundreds of unknown soldiers from World War II. Three, six, we'll look at uh, dental, if dental is available. We will look at all the, uh, the human remains that are in there, the bones for sure. And then we'll make an assessment of where we can get DNA, take that DNA and then send it to our laboratory. To date, the military has disinterred an estimated 541 soldiers from the Punchbowl Cemetery and has identified 136. Over at Hickam Air Force Base lies the world's largest forensic anthropology laboratory, where the Department of Defense is currently in the process of finding, recovering, and identifying Americans missing from World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. You have one set of remains being very carefully compared to everything we know about the dental work uh, of a missing person. Uh, and sometimes this even involves having uh, the radiographs, the x-rays. Scientists have just finished their excavation and identification process of nearly 100 unknown soldiers from the World War II Battle of Tarawa. And they tell KITV the work couldn't have been done at a more fitting time, right before the 75th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. It's very gratifying to us to bring all the new technology that we have today in 2016 to bear on the problem of identifying these sailors who died in the line of duty in that very first uh, battle of World War II. So far, over 26,000 individuals from World War II alone are interned at Punchbowl Cemetery, allowing military officials to remember their brothers in arms, giving them a place to rest and the recognition they deserve. Lindsay Fucano, KITV Island News.